afternoon YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to install running board lamps or also known as puddle lamps on your Ford truck. Now I have a 2014 F250 Super Duty. It is the XLT trim. Some trucks have connectors here um, on either side of the frame rail. You should check that to see if you have those um, those connectors before you proceed with the video. Unfortunately, um, the wiring for um, the running board lamps on my truck ends at this connector, the C1415. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, this violet wire here, we're gonna tap into that violet wire and that is going to run our, um, our puddle lamps. All right, we're over here on the driver's side of the, the vehicle by the battery junction box. And the connector that we're looking for, let's go around here, excuse the airplane, is that connector way down here. Tucked in there, it's kind of hard to see. And I put a little white dot on that uh, violet wire right here on the right. That's where we're going for there. Okay, now we are back probed on that violet wire. Press unlock. There she is. And then it should be a timeout. There, you can see that light in the background. That just lets us know that we're on the right wire. You see how it faded out there? That's controlled by the, the body control module. So that verifies that we are on the right wire. Okay, it would seem to me that we have two choices to get to that violet wire. Uh, the options would be to take off the coolant uh, air intake box assembly here. Or what I'm thinking, probably be easier, is to just take this inner, we inner wheel well out. Okay, so here we are with the, uh, with the wheel well out. And I have a couple extracurriculars, um, my snowplow wiring. Um, but yeah, here's the connector right here. And that's that violet wire we marked. So I'd say it's gonna be a little bit easier to work down here. And now I am going to recommend that you uh, wire it this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap into that, uh, that violet wire. And then we'll figure out where we wanna run it from there. Okay, the, here's my setup here. Um, I try not to cut wires when I can, especially near a connector. And then I also um, never really was a fan of these Scotch locks, but these 3Ms um, have come a long, long way. And they are solid. Um, you should check those out. Let's take a closer look at this wiring. So I just used red tape to show you which um, wires um, have uh, 12 volts going to them. So you can pretend that this is the violet wire. This is uh, tapped into that violet wire. Now it goes through our fuse here. So now anything connected to this violet wire is going to have 12 volts going to it. So we crimped it into that butt connector there. So this is going to my driver's side um, puddle lamp. And then over here um, is the is the 12 volts and that's going all the way over to my passenger side and then as far as grounds I just had this zip tie to hold that out of the way um, I all I did is I just butted them together and grounded it right here with uh, with a little eyelet there so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, clean this clean this wiring up here is the finished product so we want to kind of make it look stock. I don't think it looks. I don't think it looks too bad. All right, so this is what we got going on here. We tapped into that violet wire. That wire goes up and it's fused, and then we uh, spliced into that, and our power wire now comes down here, which is green with the brown tracer. We also made a common ground up there by the uh, the cow there. 
and uh, so that's our ground. So theoretically, we're grounded here, and then we should have power. So let's press unlock, and there she is. So the lights finally came in a little bit later. As you can see, I already unboxed it, but I just took this one piece out. Couldn't help it, man. Couldn't help it. I was pumped. But uh, this is what it comes from. Um, bed LEDs. Custom automotive lighting. And uh, I got to tell you, man, right when you pick these up, they feel uh, they feel well put together. So I'm excited. Let's do this. So this is what I got going so far. I just uh, temporarily uh, zip-tied those up there. And... Um, it's going to help with laying these out because of these uh, these sheet metal bends or welds here. Um, I might end there, but I'm going to measure I'm going to measure off from there on each side how much I want to take off. And I think I'm going to want to move back as far as possible because what eventually may happen is this 3M tape may let go when I'm pushing two feet of snow and slinging crap everywhere. All right, we got it taped up there. Let's do a, uh, let's do a test run. Sick. I like it. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick them all in there, no turning back. So there's a little back, uh, you know, the back piece that you peel off, and uh, that's that, they're on there. Here is how I installed the LED strips. Okay, they have that 3M tape on the back, good stuff. And I just ran them up under there. Walking along here. It's got a little, uh, little splice in there and it's good it adds a little separation I liked I liked the look of the two uh, separate LEDs now here is what I wanted see how this doesn't hang down in the back it would have had to have wrapped around I just don't think it would have looked good so I have it running uh, inside the, the fender well zip tied there behind the uh, cab support so I just tapped into these and that's that. Same thing on the on the other side. Just two of the little posi locks and tapped into there and we're good to go.